Making a usable 3D model for games, films and animation in most cases requires a set of 3D tools, techniques and some skills. In fact, making a fully animatable 3D model that comes with textures, UVs and a fully functional rig can even cost more. But all that is about to change with In3D. Created for indie, pros and ready for the metaverse, In3D models can easily be exported for animation, retextured, plotted, animated and used in third-party tools, with additional support for AR which brings that real-world integration of that 3D character model. This is the most fantastic and easiest way of capturing and making 3D character models, allowing anyone with a mobile device to create 3D characters in seconds. In3D is currently available for Android and iOS and can be gotten directly from their respective app stores. And once you download and fire up the app, you are now ready to start creating. The both platforms support easy character creation without any discrepancies, offering the very similar user interface and also overall UX experience. And how you create your first avatar is as easy as opening up the app, going all the way to the top and clicking on the add your avatar icon. And once this opens, follow up the simple set of guide that will require the actor to do a vertical and horizontal head movements to capture the face and also a simple a pose with a natural 360 body rotation and that's it give the app a few seconds to upload and generate your fully animatable 3d character model and once you have this you can now easily do anything that you want at this point we have this model here and a huge shout out to lucy for making this possible so we have this model actually made two different models of her the first one and the second one where we have her tying her hair so you can see the animation running through and from this section you can choose to change the clothing so if you go over to the clothing section you can change the clothing and give your character whatever kind of clothing that you want so you can make selections and there's actually something that this tool does which is pretty smart now if you look at what we have here you would notice that by default we don't have this model in this cloth which means that some way somehow we have like an occluded arm but the tool itself does a very wonderful job of just sort of creating an extra form of arm that just fits into the character itself and thereby giving you that sort of skin texture that you want so if we flip to another character that we've made earlier you'd also notice that it does exactly the same thing so we can actually go through and take a look at these other one as well and you notice it also snaps to size and that is pretty neat so moving forward you can play with the clothing so depending on the clothing that you're going for you can make changes to this clothing if you like to throw in some animation you can go over to the animation section and load up some animation for yourself if you like to play with ar of course you can explore with ar as much as you want and this is totally up to you and what you're trying to go for we also have some experiences so you might want to get some experiences with this and you can definitely have lots of fun working with this. And there's a couple of things to keep in mind when recording your model. If you're trying to record a model, try as much as possible to stay in a very lit place. This tool does a wonderful job at skinning out the entire model and focuses only on the character that you're creating. It does a very good job with low light, but it's not an encouraging factor for you not to stay in a properly lit scene when capturing your models. Other things I would also suggest not to do is character clothing. When you're capturing a character, try as much as possible to have them in the most minimal clothing as possible that would give proper definition for the arms the body and so on in this case we do have a proper example of not following the prompt staying in a bit of a low light and having way too much outfit the resulting effect is what we have here as this does a good job at capturing the face but then entire body we don't really have as much as we would want so if you're thinking about capturing and you like to get something pretty clean like this or maybe you want to get something as clean as what we have here then you need to make sure that the character is either putting on minimal clothes as possible or tightly fitted dresses and have their hair packed. And once you're ready and you probably want to export this, you can select from any of the models that we have and click on export and we are going to download and export this rig. So let's actually get this. So we're just going to export that and also click on the export button. It takes a couple of minutes to actually gather all these files together. And once it's ready, click on the download button and this download. So the idea here is for you to be able to export it first, then download it. At this point, we have the avatar body rig, which we can download. And this is just going to export just the rig of the body. But these are the one deals with blend shapes. So if you want to have the blend shapes, you can do that. If you want to send this to character creator, it's also possible. And this also supports MetaHuman. 
So in this case, we're just going to hit the download button and download that to our device. And from here, we can ship it out to any DCC app of choice. And if you're thinking about exporting only the mesh, you can click on the download button from the first one and you have export options like FBX, GLB and USDZ. And since we want this to come with the textures and all that, we're just going to go ahead and select FBX. We can now bring this into any DCC app of choice for rendering, animating and also retargeting. This is really good for those who are into games and animation as you can easily animate this character however you want in any tool of choice. There's a couple of things to keep in mind. The texture is fully wrapped on the entire model so you don't have individual clothing meshes which is definitely welcoming for certain use cases. And if you're working with Maya, you would notice that the joint radius is slightly bigger than normal. So what you need to do is go over to the outliner, select the parent joint, click on the select menu, click on select by hierarchy, go to the channel box and set the joint radius to 0.01. .01. And with this, you can fit the joint radius. Something else which you also notice is that certain cases, when you import your models, you would notice that they kind of lose the head texture. So what you need to do is either retexture this or recapture the character. Additionally, if you export models with blend shape, you'll be able to have access to this blend shape regardless of the DCC app that you're working with. Blend shape models also ship with facial joints, which is very useful for animators that would like to refine facial performances or animate certain facial expressions. Blendship models also come with a much more detailed and defined facial topology compared to what you have when dealing with a simple rig model. And bringing your 3D models into Character Creator for customization is pretty easy as all you need to do is open the In3D app, go to the Character Creator section and download the file. Now once you download that, that comes with a zip file that contains a couple of files fire up character creator, go over to the character menu and select the load neutral pose. And in this case, we're going to select the CC3 plus. Once the default character loads, the next thing which we need to do is go over to the create menu and select the morph slider editor. And once the dialog box appears, we need to set the source as the current morph and the target to the file that we just exported from in 3D. Next thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the adjust bones to fit morph and also click on the auto apply to current character. With that done, click on OK and allow this to load. And once this happens, you would notice that there is a change to the facial structure of the base model. But we're missing the texture that we captured from in 3D. So the best thing to do is to go over to the material tab and from there we're going to replace the head texture with the texture that was exported from in 3D. Of course, there are discrepancies within the skin color and you can take as much time as you want to tweak this. But in this case, what we're going to do is just add a couple of clothing on the model and play with the hair, get something very interesting. And finally, we can apply animation to this. Since Character Creator 4 now supports animation preview, we can apply as much animations as we want. You can retarget your motions to the models in Character Creator and use this for your games or animations as well. And if you're also thinking about exploring how you can use your models with MetaHuman, this is super possible. With a brand new plugin available for MetaHuman, you can now export your models from In3D and convert them to MetaHuman. In3D has also created a platform where you can convert the textures to MetaHuman compactable textures, which you can use to replace the MetaHuman texture to achieve that lifelike look. Additionally, you can export your avatars to games. Although this is currently in the works, the folks at In3D are promising that in the coming updates, you'll be able to export your characters to Grand Theft Auto 5 and you can also use these for VR charts. So, this is more like it. For those who would like to take a look at this, probably you would like to explore it, you want to start creating stuff, then links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. A huge shout out to the folks at In3D for making this possible and giving every smartphone user an opportunity to create avatars. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.